what are the handle graphics? Handle graphics have two components. First, handle graphics are a set of low-level graphics functions that control the characteristics of graphical objects generated by MATLAB. We have learned a couple of those functions. For example, function figure. It is used to generate a figure window on the screen. Function axis is to create an axis inside the figure window. Function plot is to draw a line inside an axis object. And those functions are used to define how the handle graphics can operate on and graphical objects. Second, handle graphics are data objects corresponding to graphical features such as figures, axes, lines, and text boxes. Each object has its own set of properties which control when and how the object will be displayed. For example, for figure window, it has the following properties. Its position defines where this figure window will be displayed on the screen. The size will define how big the figure window is, and the background color will define the background color of the figure window. Of course, the figure window has more properties than those three properties. And if you change the value of those properties, you can literally change the appearance of the figure window. So, in summary, the handle graphics give you a data set that defines the behavior of the uh, graphical objects. And also, it defines a set of functions that allow you to operate on those graphical objects. The MATLAB graphics system is based on a hierarchical system of core graphics objects, each of which can be accessed by a handle that refers to the object. This is the second time we use the word handle. Previously, we use handle for a function. It's called function handle. It is a data object that represents a function. Here we use a handle again, and it is called a graphics handle. It is also a data object that describes a graphics object. Each graphics object is derived from a handle class, and each class represents some feature of a graphical plot, such as a figure, a set of axes, a line, a text string, and so on and so forth. Each class includes special properties that describe the object. And changing those properties changes how the particular object will be displayed. What do the last two points mean? It means that when we define a graphics object, we do not do it from scratch. Instead, we define a base graphics object. And that base graphic object has the universal properties that every graphics object has. For example, the position and the size properties, those properties are universal. Therefore, when we define a specific graphics object, we only need to add special properties on top of the base properties. What is the benefit of this? The benefit is that every time when we try to refer those basic base properties, and we can use the same name, for example, the position property, and we don't need to use uh, different names because it is defined in the base graphics object. So that is the benefit. Here is the graphic system hierarchy. So you start with the root, which is a computer screen, and then we define a figure window. 
under the figure window, we define axes. We can have multiple axes inside one figure window. And inside the axis, we can have image, line, and text. When a graphics object is created, the creating function returns a handle to the object. For example, when we use a figure function, it creates a figure window on the screen. And also, it will return the handle to that figure window. Similarly, when we use a plot function, it will draw a line on an axis. And in return, it will output the handle to that line. The key public properties on an object can be displayed by typing its name in the command window. If you want to see the full list of the properties, all you have to do is to click on the show all properties line, and then it will display the full list of public properties for that figure object in the command window. When a graphics object is created, all of its properties are automatically initialized to the default values. Those default values can be overridden at creation time by including property name and value pairs in the object creation function. Alternatively, you can modify the values of the property through the following three methods. First, you can directly access the property using a standard object syntax, that is, handle.property name. In this case, you treat the property as if you treat the field of a structure. Second, you can access the properties through the standard get and set functions. Lastly, you can use property editor, and this is available in the GUI development environment. The function get retrieves the value of a specified property of a graphics object. It takes two inputs. The first input is a handle to the graphics object. The second is a property name which is in the form of a string. To modify the value of a specified property of a graphics object, we use the set function. The set function takes multiple inputs. The first input is always the handle of the graphics object. Then it follows with pairs of property name and value. The property name is in the form of a string, and the value will be the data type for that property. You can use a set function to provide the list of possible property values. Here is the example of a set function. If you don't provide the property value, that set function will return a list of all the legal choices for that property. For example, this command, set handle line style, will return a list of all legal line styles of that handle, provided that handle represents the product line. 